Hey Man Cave, and this is Bob from the Bob's N Scale Man Cave. And today we're doing a review of the Broadway Limited water tower. It's an automated water tower with sound and it is it's pretty awesome. And so it's got an operating pipe thing, you know, whatever it it's called, you know, downspout, spout, yeah. So it's going to uh, lower itself down, simulate filling the tender up with water, and then it rises back up again and here's some guys talking, and it's pretty neat. And you have some uh, different road names on this that you can uh, purchase. Uh, I picked the Union Pacific one. Uh, you can also get an undecorated one as well. It comes in HO and M scale. And I'll be reviewing the N scale version. So, let's go take a look. What we have here is the Broadway Limited water tower that is motorized and with sound. Uh, the fill tube comes down to the tender along the track for the steam locomotives and simulates filling it up. The package comes with a couple sets of instructions and uh, exploded parts diagram. Give you a clue of what is inside of it. If you ever need to take it apart and repair it, you can do that. Uh, basically it has a circuit board and speaker on the inside along with a, a servo to uh, manipulate the fill arm up and down. It works on DC and DCC. And the instructions here basically say to uh, connect your red and black wires up to your DCC bus power and in DC you have to hook it up to your AC accessory output of your power supply. Um, rather easy to install and there's a couple modes depending on how you push your button. Uh, the button right here is uh, pretty simple, just an activation button. And let's go take a look at what happens. So if I just push the button once and just let it go, it'll go through a fill sequence and simulate an overflow of the water in the tank and some guys are talking and complaining, hey, what are you, what are you doing, you know, that kind of stuff. And there's some random ones that they put in there. Um, and then the fill tube will go back up and it turns off. Or you can press the button and then press the button again within two seconds and the water will just keep running and running and running and running and running and running and running, and running on and on and on until you push the button again to shut it off. Also if you do have it running in that mode or the automated mode. If you press the button again, it'll automatically put it in the shutoff sequence. So let's do the first one. Thank you. 
and that's the sequence. So let's just turn the water on and let it run. So press it once and then press it again right away. So basically double, double press. goes on to whenever it's been at least 10 seconds now so press it again and stop so some features of this water tank tower is the the lids a little loose so you can kind of see on the inside there some circuitry. Um, so they didn't glue it down probably for that purpose. Uh, the ladder is kind of holding it in place. Uh, if you buy a different version, what I mean by that is they have a road number label sign on the side of the water tank. In this case, I got a Union Pacific one. There are some other ones out there as well. Uh, check out your local hobby shop for those. If you don't like Union Pacific, I don't know who doesn't. But anyway, you have the spout on the side here. The water tank has a lot of ribbing and everything else basically the steel bands that hold all the wood slats in place sort of like a big barrel um, it has some legs underneath a uh, shaft that covers up uh, where the water rises up out of the ground in to fill up the tank and of course it's got uh, the, the push button right here and the wires to hook it up. It's uh, really, fairly simple. It's pretty good. So there you go, man, Cavians. That's been my review of the Broadway Limited operating water tower. Um, some things that I noticed, you know, the volume is a little loud. If uh, you have nothing else going on in there, it's, it's, it's very loud. I wish there was probably a volume control on there. Um, instructions don't mention one but it would be, be nice to probably put some sort of rheostat in there um, to adjust the, the voltage going to the speaker you might be able to put one in yourself to adjust that volume um, all you need is a little potentiometer and you probably get to work um, but yeah it's up to you if you want to try that other than that, I found that it was very well put together, looked pretty detailed, and it's fun for the kids. You know, you push the button and let it go. It's real easy to hook up to your wiring of your uh, track if you have DCC. And you just hook it up to your accessory bus, your AC accessory bus, uh, if you're using a DC layout. So don't hook it up to your track because it ain't going to work if you're using DC. There's no voltage on a DC track until you turn the, the volume up on your track, you know. I know, not volume, voltage. So, till next time, Mancavians, if you like what you saw here today, click subscribe. Or click on the links down here to follow me on my Facebook account, my Google Plus account, and also follow me on Twitter. And as always, Mancavians, happy model railroading. Stay off the tracks. Bye.